Yo, yo, we're back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create this effect. And I have this clip right here, which I'm gonna add those effect on. So start by going a bit further in the clip. I will go right to about here and just duplicate the clip and trim it till here. And you can just right click, go with the time and just hit freeze frame. After that, take your pen tool. You can start masking out your subject now. After you done masking, select this tool and just put your anchor point in your subject or like this. After that, hit S to bring up the scale. Hit the stopwatch in there. Go a bit further, like about here, uh, like about here, and you can just scale this up like this. Yeah, and you can just F9 to easy ease those keyframe. Go over to graph now, and you can create a graph similar to this. And like that, you will have an animation like this. You can turn on the motion blur if you haven't already now hit t to bring up the opacity and hit the stop push in there hit u to bring up your scale keyframe too and go over to the last scale keyframe and just put the opacity on zero so we'll have a fading out animation as you can see i'll go over the last and just trim it like that now we can add some effect to spice it up so i will start with uh, levels and you can just push the shadows mid tones to like about here and this will make it look like really saturated so we're gonna add a uh, hue and saturation and lower down the saturation just a bit like that uh, a little bit yeah like that after that you can add your favorite glow in my case i'm gonna use a optical glow in here and go over to alpha channel you can set it to generate all mold and lower down the intensity a bit bring up the brightness after that your effect will look something like this but as you can see it doesn't blend well as it comes so to fix that we're gonna right click go to new and create an adjustment layer and then i'm gonna go over to user preset and go over to my shake pack which i just launched some week ago and it saves so much time that you can't believe in my website i'm running a crazy bundle right now with my shake pack and my 3d writer pack you already know the shake pack allows us to add some insane shake meanwhile my 3d title pack allows us to add some crazy titles to our music video so the link will be in the description if you want to check it out i'll leave the whole bundle and the shake pack only too the bundle is just all by level for 49 dollar come on guys you are really getting almost two packs for the price of one so for now back to after effects for this we're gonna use wave shake so let's just drag and drop it onto our adjustment layer open up the keyframes and line it up and you can already see this looks so dope and make this wave a little smaller like that and it's that easy to add six i'll show you one more just in example let's just create one more adjustment layer in here we're gonna add like this door shake three let's try it on oh, like that damn this looks so hard so the possibilities are endless with this pack so let's just delete it for now and let's just use the wave sick i think i'm gonna extend the full animation of my layer too and then go over to blending mode and set it to screen so for another one i'm gonna duplicate this and trim it like the before and just right click go to time and just freeze frame it too and i'm gonna max him out real quick i'm gonna do this quick because i already showed you so let's just max out him so from this layer i'm gonna just copy these keyframes of scale and opacity and paste it right here and i'm gonna place my anchor point right about here too and we're gonna also copy all of these effects into this layer like that copy this adjustment layer too bring up the keyframe and just line it up with another another hit right here and i'm gonna add last one in him like right about here yeah so let's just duplicate and just trim it till here and do the same thing added all the effect on there so i'm gonna just copy this adjustment layer bring up the keyframe and put it right here to right here yeah so i think i'm gonna select all of these move it a bit further because i think it's a little too quick and just extend the end of it like that i'm gonna play with the opacity keyframes of this after that we are almost done but i'm gonna add levels into my background hit the stopwatch in there go a bit to the last and you can just push 
booster levels like that uh, like about here and add like event saturation go over the beginning keyframe hit the stop what's in there and go to end and lower down the saturation for sure and then i'm gonna create an adjustment layer add a flicker bring up the amount a little bit then i'm gonna create a null object real quick and and sell it all of these and pair it, it to there put the anchor point in here and i'm just gonna animate the scale to mm, like that you don't really have to do this i'm just doing it to add some finishing touches you know these shakes are really the sauce so after all my result looks something like this so hope you like this video if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this you can follow me in instagram i upload some reels in there and yeah see you in the next video peace